Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I pray that everyone is having a blessed Ramadan. So we will be reading through 40 hadith that are related to the blessed month of Ramadan. And we hope and we pray that by virtue of going through these hadith, we will understand and realize the blessings of Ramadan and what Ramadan has to offer. So the first hadith, قال الله تعالى, this is hadith Qudsi, قال الله تعالى, كل عمل ابن آدم له إلا الصيام فإنه لي وأنا أجزي به والصيام جنة وإذا كان يوم صوم أحدكم فلا يرفث ولا يسخب فإن, فإن, سابه, فإن سابه أحد أو قاتله فليقول إني مرؤ صائم والذي نفس محمد بيدي لخلوف فم الصائم أتيب إن الله من ريح المسك للصائم فرحتان يفرحهما إذا أفطر فرها وإذا لقي ربه فرها بصومه So this is Hadith Qudsi as I've mentioned Allah Almighty says that every deed of the son of Adam is for him except for fasting Now what does this mean? Because all of our deeds are for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has singled out fasting because in fasting there's no possibility of ostentation there's no possibility of riya uh, The only way a person can figure out someone is fasting if that person is informed. Otherwise, fasting is something exclusive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, there's no possibility of, of ostentation. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has singled out fasting in this hadith. So the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is for me and I will reward it. Now, obviously, again, all of the rewards right, are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All rewards are from Allah. Whatever actions we do throughout the day, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rewarding them. So again, why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala singled out fasting? The reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has singled out fasting is that other rewards, they are multiplied 10 times to 600 times depending on the quality of the action and depending on the quality of the intention behind that action. Now fasting, again, this is something exclusive. There is no possibility of riya. There is no possibility of showing off ostentation. So Allah SWT has singled out fasting to show the importance and the virtues of, of fasting. Uh, Allah SWT uh, says, وَالصِّيَامُ لِي وَالصِّيَامُ لِي وَنَأَجْزِ بِهِ وَالصِّيَامُ جُنَّةً That fasting is a shield, meaning that it is a shield from sin. It is a shield from sin. It prevents one. It stops one. It serves as a barrier for a person who wants to otherwise engage in sin. Uh, the hadith continues. So, when one of you fasts, then he may not be obscene or boisterous. That person should not be obscene. That person should not be boisterous. He should be an individual. He should be a person where he takes fasting seriously. If someone insults him or fights him, let him say that I am fasting. That I am fasting by the one in whose hand is the soul of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The breath coming from the mouth of a fasting person is more pleasant to Allah than the scent of musk. The fasting person has two moments of relief, two moments of joy that he enjoys when he breaks his fast. He is joyful because he is breaking his fast upon the favors and bounties of Allah azza wa jal. And when he meets his Allah, he is joyful for his fasting on account of the rewards that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for him for this great action, for this great virtuous deed of fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.